your life motto is chase your dreams and was chase your dreams. Is it still your motto, luck? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I've always lived by that, and I think it's the it's the whole. That motto is what got me into the sport in the first place, what me got, got me to Europe and it's what got me racing. I picked it up and, and came over here and started it all and 20 years on I'm still here and you know you tick off all those dreams that you've achieved but I think you get caught up in the lifestyle and, the, and it becomes your life that you set new dreams when you, you're here and I, uh, I still honestly believe that's the case. I tried for the Olympics last year despite the whole world saying I was stupid to do that but it's not their right to say what I can and can't do, it's mine. I own that. It's uh, it's my life, they're my dreams and they're my ambitions. And of course, I often feel that people on the outside, you know, they sit down and they're like people in a, in a movie theatre or people at a theatre that watch the show. Well, the show happens to be real life to me and they obviously criticise things I do or that's stupid or that. But hey, it's my life, they're my dreams, they're my ambitions and I chase them and, and it's what's got me here, it's what's made me very, very successful in my sport. And, it's what I'll continue to do. It's what I try and instill into my kids. If you look into the future, and you should name one dream you would like to fulfill yourself, what comes up? One dream that I would like to fulfill myself. I'd like just to be happy. You know, I think, you know, that's a, I'd like to be happy and content. I don't know if there's a, such a word as content because I get so restless and so, uh, but I'd like to, I often visualize or see myself, whether it's on a farm or whether it's doing, I don't know what it is, but where I'm just content and, and you know, athletically I'm happy where I am and I keep thinking that if I win this one, it'll make me happy. I win this one, it'll make me happy. But And, um, and I am content athletically to some degree, but you, I sort of get to this point now in my life where I'm like, and I think chasing that Olympics made me realize that even more, was that I'm, I have the opportunity that it's going to run out at some point. So I may as well capitalize and enjoy this next few years of my career before I'm definitely at the, t at the peak of the mountain. You know, that's how big the plateau is, how long I can stay there before, you know, age is going to weary me and uh, the youth are gonna get me. So I may as well enjoy this plateau as long as it lasts. And, and instead of being so ingrained and so focused on, and so engulfed in, uh, in, in trying to achieve this year. It's just accept that I've had a wonderful career, one of the best in my history of my sport, and everything else now is icing on the cake. And just enjoy those things, and, and with that, I think I'll, I'll learn contentment, and, uh, and I can look at, look at other ways to find happiness, helping other athletes. So I'm really enjoying that a lot myself. I just trained with the Olympic girls leading into London, and really enjoyed being a part of their success. Ronnie and the guys, talking to them about and really sharing my experiences and, and, and living theirs to some degree. And I think that'll make me content on the athletic side. And in life, I'm very happy.